We are the heartbeat of Seattle. Hi, and thank you for stopping by. Today, I want to talk to you about a possible problem that Seattle is having. Uh, I had a feeling that when they started CHAZ in Capitol Hill that it wasn't going to last very long. And the reason I say that is because they did it on the spur of the moment. They just grabbed and, and went with it. And a lot of times when you do that, it doesn't last very long. And um, there's no leadership, there's no direction. So you got everybody running around like a chicken with its head cut off, going in all different directions. And you don't have an idea of what you want to accomplish. Well, you took the hill. Okay. You won some ground. But what were you going to do with it once you got it? Now, I'm a proponent of... Slavery was bad. I believe that it was a horrible thing that happened. But when they freed the slaves, they had no plan in place for what was going to happen after they were freed. Where were they going to go? How were they going to live? What were they going to do? You can't just up and just out of emotion do something without giving it considerable thought. I am glad that slavery was abolished. Do not get me wrong here. I was very glad that they abolished slavery, but once you abolish the slavery, then what? It's like, oops, hot potato. Now, the same thing with Chaz. Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, or CHOP, Capitol Hill Organized Protest. Well, there was nothing really organized about the whole thing. You had a bunch of people that wanted it to go this way, and a bunch of people that wanted it to go that way. Now, you have the police, who, I am a firm believer in law enforcement. I am. I am a firm believer in law enforcement. Even if you enforce the law on yourself self-enforcement i'm a firm believer that there has to be some stability and some law and order there you cannot just run amok you have freedom yes you do the ninth amendment says that everything is considered freedom even when it's not written down but without law and order to give us some stability People can go kill somebody and say, oh, well, I have the right to do that. It's my right to take their life. It's freedom of expression. I'm expressing myself. No, some things are just wrong, and we know they're wrong. Now, with Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, the police have come in, and under certain circumstances, deadly force has to be used. Extreme force, such as flashbangs, when you've got a bunch of people that are unwilling to leave, they're not, they're not doing anything. They're not furthering the cause, they're just there. And they don't want to not just be there, so they're going to fight you so they can be there. They're not helping the cause, they're not doing nothing but just being lazy and hanging out with who they consider to be the cool kids. And you got a lot of people that uh, that are up uh, at the autonomous zone that they they didn't care about the cause they didn't care about george floyd they didn't care about all the other americans that have been murdered at the hands of overzealous police police that should not even have been there now i'm not down on the police 100 percent. i am down on bad cops that have serious problems that should not be on the police force and police unions that back them up. And also you got police that are in 
the precincts that are unable to say anything because you've been taught that you have to protect your brother. You have to have his back regardless. That's not true. If you really care about that person and he's your friend and you really care about him, you will turn him in so he can get help. If he will not help himself, you have to help him help himself. But the police are not allowed to do that. So you have a bunch of bad cops that may not be bad willingly. They may not set out during the day thinking of who they're going to kill, but they have anger issues. They have emotional problems. They can't separate personal and business, their job from their life. When somebody spits on you, that's bad. Yes, it is. But that comes with the territory of being a cop. You cannot take it as a personal vendetta against you. The guy spit on the cop. The guy didn't spit on you, the person that is the cop. He spit on the police as a whole. That's not right. He should be dealt with for that. But the police do not have a right to step outside of their purview and take things personal. And there's a lot of cops that do that. They love to escalate stuff. They love to be in the thick of things. Sandra Bland, she was pulled over by a police officer and the police officer was doing what was known as an administrative stop. It was paperwork only. He charged her buttons on purpose so she would get upset which in turn would give him a reason to take her to jail. She threatened to sue when the weekend was over. She threatened to get a hold of her lawyer, and she told the, the sheriff that she was going to sue. And when they found out that she was going to sue, they couldn't take any chances, so they killed her in jail. I cannot prove that, and if you ask me to be able to prove it, I can't show you proof, but we all know that's what happened. When you put two and two together, it always equals four. Now, you've got various other people throughout history that has been tortured and been killed and strung up for no good reason, only because of what they looked like. Somebody said, oh, so-and-so did this because they were too scared to tell their husband they were cheating on their husband with their best friend. So they said that the handyman that came to the house raped them. They took the handyman, strung him up in the middle of town, and hung him, and beat him, and tortured him, and then burned him. I hate to be rude like that, but that's what happened. America is famous for that. And although my family, I was adopted when I was six to an American family, uh, a white family, but... My birth family is Navajo Indian and Israeli. And I am an American, so I take responsibility for the things that America has done in its past because I am an American. So I have to take on all of that onto my shoulders. Although I can't do anything to fix it, I can't do anything to go back in time and change it, but I can be honestly sorry for the things that have happened. And that's another thing too. Once we get forgiveness for things, we have to learn to forgive ourselves. Now, back to the CHAZ, uh, Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, or CHOP, Capitol Hill uh, Organized Protest. The city of Seattle's police department took it upon themselves to go up there and clear people out. They cleared the protesters out. They're in the process of clearing them out. Now, I can understand why they're doing this, and they may have a little pushback from the protesters, which is understandable. I do not believe in my heart that the police are using force that is unwarranted. Sometimes when you are trying to get something into something, like when I was a kid, I was raised on a farm and we had cows. And sometimes to get the cow, 
into the back of the truck to go to market, we had to push it. Push it. We had to push it. Sometimes pretty hard. We had to push it pretty hard. Of course, being human, there's no way you could push a cow to the point where it would hurt it. But we had to nudge it, like push it, push it, because it wasn't going. Same thing with the autonomous zone in Seattle and Capitol Hill. It wasn't going to stay like that forever. And for people that thought it was, they were dreaming. Y'all were just dreaming. And I don't mean that in a bad way or nothing. But for the people that started this, it got overtaken probably two days after they started the autonomous zone by a bunch of people that didn't care about the protest. They had no idea what was really going on. They weren't furthering the cause. They were just going up there to get high, live life without any restrictions. They didn't have to worry about the law. You had people bringing food so they were being fed. You can't do that. It just has to stop. And we have to try to get back to normal. I believe that the police should not be disbanded, dismantled, or unfunded. I believe that they should be uh, brought down and reorganized. And you get all the bad cops as much as you can off the force. You get uh, cops with major issues into programs to help them. Possibly they can come back after their, after their issues are fixed or brought down to a uh, manageable level. You have a lot of cops that are afraid to rat on another cop. You got to stop that. You can't let the unions bully you. You got to do what you know to be right because it's your police department, damn it. And you have pride in your police department. You have pride in what you do and you have pride in that uniform and that badge and you are not going to let anybody screw you out of that pride and the privilege of being a police officer for the city of Minneapolis. Yep, that's my thoughts on it. I'm going to let you go. I'm ranting a little bit. I'm already up to almost uh, 13 minutes, so I'm going to let you go. If you know something I don't about this issue, or you've been part of the CHAZ or CHOP, please put a comment below and let me know what you thought of everything. If you've been affected, and it's been a badly... Uh, if it's, you've been affected badly by this and uh, you've had problems with Chaz or CHOP, please put it in a comment below and let me know what you're thinking. Also, uh, if you want to hit that subscribe, that uh, thumbs up button for the like, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Just big old like. Also, uh, if you're going to give me a thumbs down, that's fine. I can handle that as long as you tell me why. And there's a guy that's been thumbing my videos down. His name is Patrick Griffin. He's mad at me because I won't be his friend anymore. It's just I've outgrown him in my life and I've moved on. Nothing personal, Pat. You just have to find your own friends and make your life the best you can the way you can. And... I am not going to let this get personal, but I just had to get you out of my life and go on without you. It's time. Anyway, having said that, I'm going to leave you with this note. Let's make tomorrow better than yesterday by doing the very best we can today. Have a good afternoon in Seattle, America and all points beyond.